going to see what the issue what is the issue in reading input from the console so i have given you some exercise here read name i think read registration number and uh, age that is an integer then address which is an string so let's complete this let's see what's the issue you are going to get while well, you are going to write this say sys out first is enter your uh, registration number and uh, what is that we are going to do here is we'll have a scanner object defined for reading everything scanner input system dot in okay next what we will do is we'll read this registration number which is a string so we'll say string reg the scanner object dot next line next what we'll do is we'll ask the user to enter his age sys out enter your age age is an integer so we'll say int age is equal to we'll use input dot next in see we are using the same scanner object for reading all the inputs what is this input is the scanner object of type scanner next thing is we'll ask the user to enter his uh, address enter your address so here too it's a string so what is that we are going to have here is string and address is the variable name since it's a string we have to use input dot next line that's it we have written three data items sys out we'll just print the registration number plus uh, age plus address we are just printing the data back to the user here now we'll run this we'll see what is the issue so let's uh, save this the warning here is you should also close input dot close never forget to close the stream so now let's run this control s control f11 enter your registration number i'll say some bce as my registration number enter your age i'll say 25 now before entering the address you see bce 25 is getting printed it's not even getting in the address so this is because of a new line character see what's happening is when i enter the string say the input i'm entering is say bce and then what i do is i press a enter so when i press and enter there's a new line character at the end when i use how will i read the registration number i will use next line so next line will read the entire line no issues next we are having an integer so what is the age i have given 25 and when i press enter there will be a new line character in the input but what is that i am reading here next int so when i use next int it will not read the entire line it just read this so this character would be still remaining in our input so what happens is when i go in for next line again to read the address this will be going in for address so it has taken all the input so it's trying to print the output so this is the issue so we have a new line character which is uh, there in our input stream so what we can do here is to handle that new line character after reading an integer we can go with input dot next line so this will consume that uh, new line character and then your address you will be getting in the prompt for entering the address let's uh, now execute this enter your registration number bc enter your age 25 enter your address well look so this you have to be cautious when you are using the same object for reading multiple data types like integer strings float and strings short and string something like that this is one way to handle this another way to handle this is i will read whatever age as a string say i will read this age as a string i'll call that age str and what is the method i'm going to use here is dot next line so i'll be using next line for all my inputs and uh, after i read in the age i should be converting that to a string for this i'll use a wrapper class that is integer dot parse in and then i'll pass my string here so this will take in that string convert that to an integer so i'll now call int age is equal to that specific 
int value. So now I can go with the output. You see the same thing. BCE registration number, age is uh, 25, address is yellow. So either you can have uh, the same uh, set of methods to read in the input, next line for reading in all the input. Wherever you want to convert that to an integer, you can use the wrapper classes. I know we are not covered wrapper classes still. This is just an introduction to wrapper classes. See, this works for a float too. Say if I have float to me, uh, say if I'm reading in float, the same error you're going to get. How is that you read in float? Age cannot be float, but let's say, let's uh, read in some float value here, next float. So this is the age, which is a float value. <coughs> let's uh, delete this conversion. So you're reading in age, which is a float value, you're reading in address. So there is a mix up of data types. You are using the same scanner object. Now when you run this, what will happen? Enter your registration number. So BCE, enter age 23.5. It's not reading in the address, same issue. So how will you address this? The way to address this is just like that. You can go with an input dot next line, consume that uh, character here. Your problem gets solved. So you can very well see now you have this uh, PCE 23.5 well low. So like that, if you're going to use, uh, if you're going to use short, byte, anything, there's a mix up, you have to follow this.